But did you ever get any type of like disrespectful messages from internet trolls or anything? Yeah, that's um, all the time. Room? I think that comes with uh, being in a limelight. You know, people gonna always have their opinion. I try my best to be so direct because I don't open myself up for their opinion because it don't matter. If you come on my page with that drama, like I'm so positive at this point, I'm gonna block you. Because what you're saying, I don't even know you. And if you're going to support us, then support us. But I don't have time to be trying to figure out why you upset or why you in my business. I don't know you. I'm going to block you and keep it moving. Okay. It's that simple. All right. Well, any more, like, new Snoop music coming soon? or? Oh, yeah. I got mm -hmm. one more album. Okay. It's going to be tight. I'm taking my time with it because at the end of the day, this is personal for me. So I'm not going to push anything out just to get somebody ears from stop, you know, bumping because they want to hear some Snoop. Like, this is my last album. So I gotta make sure that I do it right. Okay. Now, do you maybe have like an idea when you're gonna release it, no. or are you gonna keep that? Keep no, that? I don't have one. I'm on my time at this point because okay. I haven't really had time to just realize what's going on in my life. You know, this is some new stuff. You know, what I'm saying even though it's been four years, almost four years, that don't mean that I feel different than I did the morning I got the phone call. So at this point, I got to go based on my emotions, and right now I am in a positive frame. You know, God has carried me a long way so from day one. So I'm ready to get to the business at the same time. I'm going to get y'all this documentary real quick. And y'all marinate on a documentary. And then we'll push the music. Push the music. Okay, yeah. okay. Hopefully we can get, like, maybe, like, another video or something. Maybe. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's that can be done. That's, that's easy. Okay. We can get some videos going. But, I mean, for us, it's new music. We just have to make sure it's done right because this is it. We can't make no more music, so I got to make sure that it's right. Fine, right, okay. Yeah. Well, I know a lot of fans are looking forward to it. So you guys just stay tuned. Go on the Instagram, follow and just pay attention, pay attention. Yeah, Snoop fans are tight, though. They patient. They just they just love just to see his face. You know, I think they really just get a kick at just seeing the fact that his face is still being represented. Everybody's showing love to Snoop. It's not just me. It's like so many people across this world. And I appreciate everybody for still tuning in. After four years, we still, you know, we still bumping it. Long live don't just mean long live. We really mean, like, long live. Why am I going to holler R.I.P.? We not resting. It's long live Snoop. And we're going to say that I don't believe in R.I.P. when it comes to him. That's you know, cool. but this weekend is about a Darren. So everybody that loves me show love to a Darren. We'll deal with little Snoop on Monday. Right. <laughs> yeah. I understand. So now, so we know he's definitely a legend. Louisiana legend. Now back home in Jonesboro. Yeah. I guess he was the face of the town. Like he was the face of the town back then, wasn't he? Oh yeah. He he was <laughs> hey, that man there, he believed he was proud about being that though because he was the one that was always counted out. So for him to be the one who nobody you know, I'm not gonna say nobody, he had his little crew, but at the end of the day he was the talk like, Oh, that's just bad snoop, you know what I'm saying? But soon as a piece of little fame came through, now everybody Oh, that's my cousin. Oh, I bought him a piece of chicken. You know, just never know the little pettiness that went on. But, yeah, he the face of Jonesboro, mm -hmm. period. He's paved the way for everybody that can make out of Jonesboro. You can't make out of Jonesboro if you ain't trying to holler Snoop. They doing it, you know. Right. But talent going to speak for itself. That's what I be saying. Don't ride the wave. Get in your own lane because Snoop done already made the lane open for you. So just get in your own lane and let your talent speak for itself because I ain't letting nobody ride off his name. Period. It's not going to happen. I understand. You know, because uh, Snoop, I mean, of course, you know, he had Lil Wayne, Boots, and other artists, but, you know, it was it, it was kind of a, there was a little a break in time where there wasn't too many new up-and-coming artists from Louisiana. Right, right. And Snoop, when he came in, he just hit the scene very quickly. Like, you know, now you got, like, NBA Young Boy, you got different other artists from Louisiana. But I felt like if it's been four years, Snoop, would have been really, he would have been, I think, been at the top because he, a lot of people like this music and he had a lot of cosigns. A lot of people was like, man, Snoop, you know, yeah. he definitely he's a good artist. Definitely. Appreciate made a, that. He made a lot of good hits. How did you feel about the, um, like, the video he was battle rapping? He battled that Grambling and then he, you know, he battled on um, T.I.'s artist. Right. So I guess that was probably something different you seeing Snoop. Did you ever see Snoop battle before? I mean, you don't understand yeah. is that him battling, he just used rap this time, but that's his conversation. So that was easy for him to get in that lane and just like, roast you because he's going <laughs> to do it anyway. If he's talking and have a conversation, then he probably just going to roast you with his words. So he just made music with it. So that was just Snoop. It wasn't surprising to me. That was just what he did. I understand. 
So it was just, it was just always natural. Right. So I know when I'm um, in XL interview, you said that he started recording music at eight years old. Right. Correct. So like that's that's crazy because the eight year old record music that doesn't that's not easy. I mean that's because he had older people looking at him once we had him in his they studio because they seen the talent so they wanted Snoop to be a part of their group so yeah he was really recording before his rapping that kid been rapping all his life. Okay, okay. definitely. And so how has Mother's Day? Well, obviously you know it's not been easy. It's not been an easy time time for you. But as each year goes by, how has Mother Day been for you the past couple of years? Um. Mm. Actually, I won't even complain about Mother's Day the last couple of years because I'm going to say it's new because at the right time, the right things happen. Last Mother's Day, I, I enjoyed my Mother's Day, you know, in Georgia. I was with Boosie and his family. I got a chance to speak to different people. So the last couple of years actually been better than the first couple of years where I thought I couldn't make it through. So now I have a different mind frame. So, you know, I won't even complain about Mother's Day. You also do a lot of outreach. You speak with other um, mothers whose sons were victims of either like violent crimes or I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure in particular whether it's car accidents. I mean, I get emails. I don't let nobody have my number really right. unless I, you know, I get led to, to communicate in that form. But right. I always tell a, a parent or a mother to pray. You know, and I know everybody here that just pray, but no, you got to actually believe in what you're praying for. You know, you just can't be speaking up and, Lord, just help me get out of this and just heal me through this. Like, you know, got to really believe and, and, and go through that because it's not an easy battle. You can't do it by yourself. I don't give, man, like, I don't care what type of counseling you seek. God is the counselor at the end of the day for a situation such as this. And if you try to run from that, like, he going to break you down to make you call on him. That's the thing about it. Like, people understand, like, there's no around it. Like, you got to go through God to get some healing, to get some type of understanding. If you understand life, like, I understand life, so I understand, like, why this kind of had to happen. And I gained from it. I didn't just let, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to stand in my story. I'm going to stand on my story. So it's a difference when you just know when you have your faith. So I always tell the mothers just to pray. You know, I can't tell you how you're going to feel in four years because you're not Denisha. So everybody, you know, they feel different, they heal different. But if you pray and just stay on that track, stick with your flow, eventually you will see a difference in how you feel on a daily basis.